Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're taking a look at the Mizuno Wave Sky Neo. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things down there. Right, so this week we're doing a bit of a Mizuno takeover on the channel, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is the Wave Sky Neo. Now this is the first shoot in our Mizuno takeover of the channel this week. Why are we doing a Mizuno takeover? Well, it's down to you guys, really. You've been commenting in uh, some of my videos about Mizuno shoes. Uh, you've also been commenting about Puma shoes. Uh, it's another one we're gonna be checking out as well. So I thought it'd be cool um, to actually do all the videos back to back this week. Uh, I've had these shoes in the rotation the last couple of months, uh, but I wanted to report back to you. We've also got the stability shoes as well. We've got our stability guru on the channel, Alan, he's back reviewing that as well. So yeah, sort of uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this week uh, the Mizuno sort of takeover of the channel. But let's get stuck in with the Wave Sky Neo first. Right guys, so the Wave Sky Neo, which is their latest shoe that's come out, uh, let's get into some of the stats and some of the features before we get into how it feels and what it's for and all that sort of stuff. So this shoe is quite expensive, it's 180 pounds here in the UK. You've got this brand new um, Energy Core, which is full length, provides a completely new type of midsole compound that delivers this amazing soft cushioning, I'll come on to that. You've got the Wave Foam, which helps with a more stable and cushioned landing. Uh, the Energy Cushioning uh, provides a softer and cushioned landing, helps energize the foot to push off. You've got the euphoric, which I keep calling U4 IC, but it's actually pronounced euphoric, aids the midsole through additional cushioning, uh, responsiveness. You've got the smooth ride system, which minimizes the rapid acceleration and de acceleration of the foot. You've got this one, pit, uh, one piece even wave knit um, upper. The shoe is 11.5 ounces. Now on the outsole, you've got all these little bits of sort of rubber. Uh, this new compound here is, is designed again to add traction. You see where they've tried to shave some of the weight out of that. Um, but yeah, so the whole idea of this shoe, I believe, is um, sort of cushioning. And, and so you were talking like those longer runs, those um, easy pace runs, where you just want to go, you know, nice and easy. But if you want to pick up the pace, you've got the technology from the energy uh, cushioning uh, or responsiveness even, sorry, um, that will give you um, some sort of energy to crack on with your run. Um, so things I don't like. Firstly, I don't like the weight. I don't like the stiffness. Um, I don't like the uh, thickness of the upper. Uh, I'm gonna put that straight out there. Uh, it sort of felt a little bit lifeless uh, as I was going along. Uh, it didn't really give me much confidence to sort of put my foot down in it. That's one of the things. And I think some of that comes from the weight, to be honest with you. I think 11.8 ounces for a daily train is quite a lot based on some of the competition out there. Um, so yeah, so they're the sort of things I don't like. Um, we'll get them out of the way because there's a few things I do like. But the upper in particular is, is very, very thick, people. Um, it fits nice, but it is very thick. The energy cushioning is okay, like I said, but it, it, all this hype about everything it gives back to you, not kind of feeling it. So that's the sort of things I don't like. The things I do like is actually the one piece uh, upper. Um, all right, I've just hammered it for being too thick, but I actually like a one piece upper. That's just me, personal preference. I like the heel area. It's got a nice sort of, I use the word squidgy. I don't even know if that's English, around the heel. And it's actually really comfortable. I like the heel counter. It offers some structure uh, to the back of the heel so you don't, uh, feel sort of unbalanced. Some of these um, one piece uppers, they can be a bit flimsy at the back, but this is not. Um, I like the outsole. There's plenty of grip for me down the rivers. Um, 
and uh, the, I found some rocks and stuff getting stuck in there. I've cleaned them up today, but uh, I found some little bits and pops getting stuck in there. But in general, it's actually been very good um, down the rivers. Uh, I like the fit of the shoe. The shoe fits true to size. I'm a UK nine and a half as always um in um all my running shoes and this has come up true to size and there's plenty of room in there um i kind of liked it when i sort of uh towards the end of the run <laughs> sounds really odd but i kind of liked it towards the end of the run it, that that cushioning was was sort of nice um for a, probably a really bad word to use but it was kind of nice at the end of the run my my feet were saying oh actually we kind of like that but that's about it I think personally, like I said a second ago, at 180 pounds, this shoe is too heavy, uh, it's too thick on the upper, and despite the technology that they're claiming about, I just feel like there is better shoes out there. Even from Mizuno, and, and hopefully you'll see the video um, on the uh, Wave Inspire 24, that's a much better shoe than this. So personally, I would avoid this shoe out of the Mizuno range. I think it's it's a, it's. It's great in, in some respects, but actually it's really annoying in other respects. And I just think that it's a bit of a waste of money.